As we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, U.S. aid for Christians is slow in coming. The Archbishop of Erbil, where Christians live in the heart of Kurdistan, told us that the vote to become independent from Iraq could hurt the chances of Christians staying in the area. The United States State Department says it is deeply disappointed in the vote, but one member of Congress supports independence and is speaking out. Joining us now is Representative Trent Franks, a Republican from Arizona. Thank you for joining us. I'm always glad to be with you. The U.S. State Department is afraid this referendum will splinter Iraq, but you support Kurdistan's independence. Why? Well, I support uh, Kurdistan, or I support the Kurds having the, the right to self-determination. And, uh, you know, that's a sort of a, an all-American concept. Uh, we, we certainly uh, wouldn't be America if it weren't for the notion that uh, a, a people that have demonstrated their commitment to, to humanity and to each other and to a rule of law uh, should have a chance to, to be uh, at least uh, determined in their own uh, capability for their station in life and in, in, the, in the world. In a statement that you released on the day the Kurds voted, you said, thank God for the Kurds. They have delivered countless groups and individuals from the hands of ISIS. What specifically do you mean? Well, I believe that to be true. You know, when, when uh, Barack Obama was standing around calling the ISIS uh, a JV team and he was standing around holding, holding a golf club while they were raping and butchering their way across uh, Iraq, the Kurds stood very nobly and valiantly against ISIS, against the Islamic State, and they protected the Christians, Yazidis, and they, they were really the ones that were willing to put themselves at great sacrifice to be able to, to protect people that really weren't of their own uh, national origin or try, they were just doing it out of, I think, a cause uh, for humanity. And that's uh, a really, I think, uh, noble character of any, any people. To be fair, the Obama administration did declare a genocide after ISIS's actions. You're encouraging the Kurds to continue to protect Christians in the Nineveh Plain. How do you expect them to do that? Well, yes, the, the Obama administration did declare genocide there, but only after being practically pulverized by the world. Uh, this was something that was so uh, clear. And at one point, the Obama administration didn't want to even include Christians in that uh, delineation of, uh, of genocide. In April, I was on the front lines with the Peshmerga, the military forces of Kurdistan. And I know that you have previously proposed an amendment to the defense authorization bill to directly arm those Kurds. Will doing that help us win the fight against ISIS? I think it's important now that the Kurds have shown the world their commitment to, to freedom in the, in the region and that they've been willing to defend Christians and Yazidis on the ground, uh, that they be very careful at this point now to police any of the areas of, of human rights violations within their own ranks so that they maintain their, their image in the world that is so, so positive right now. And uh, I also think it's important that uh, when it comes to the, the Nineveh Plain, uh, some of the Christian groups there, whether it be the Chaldean or the Syriac or, or the, uh, the Assyrians, uh, need to have the ability to defend themselves uh, and that, that the Christian defense forces there are capable in their own right to defend themselves because right now uh, they are in great danger of being driven out of Iraq and a uh, place where they've been there for thousands of years. Congressman Trent Franks of Arizona, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much.